Good afternoon, Dr. James. I'm the social worker that's been assigned to this case. I understand that you'll be performing a surgery where you'll be transferring a human, a dog's brain into a human cadaver. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. And did you get prior approval from the hospital to do this? Approval was not necessary. I'm the head of the department for the experimental brain transplant of domestic dogs, two humans, cadavers. Okay, and did you do a psyche eval on the patient before performing the surgery? As I said, it is a cadaver. No psyche eval was necessary. Okay, and when do you plan on performing the surgery? The surgery has already been performed. Oh, well I see, okay. How is the patient doing? The cadaver? Yes. The cadaver is doing quite well. Though it has no human attributes, it does have that of a dog. I see. Well, thank you very much, Dr. James. I just have one more question for you. And what is that question? Uh, we, I'm just wondering your agenda with this surgery. My agenda? Yes. My agenda is to take man's best friend and prolong its life into that of a deceased cadaver that no one has claimed. One that has been in the lab for many days. And now we have a complete transfer of dog brain to human. Characteristics, every man needs a companion, be it a dog or be it a human being with a dog attributes. Everyone likes a little scratchy scratch. Well, thank you, Doc. Thank you very much, Dr. James. Well, that's about all the questions I have for today. Did you have any questions of me? Yes. Yes. Do you have a best friend? A yes. dog, that is, or a cat? I have a cat. And that cat's name? Pesky. Pesky. Because it is. Yes. And do you clean that cat box on a daily basis? Yes, I do. Good. The cat is very, very happy. Good. Well, thank happy you, Dr. James. That is the end of this interview. I appreciate your time today. Well, thank you. I must get back to my experimentation.